Hi, I'm Saul Montiel. I'm a professional chef, and today I'm gonna show you how to make the best tacos. It's so simple, so good. You can do this any time of the day. It's layers and layers of love. This is tacos, uno en uno. What I'm looking for in the best taco is three things. The quality of the tortilla, the marinade and the way you cook the meat, and also the salsa. No matter what taco are you making, I'm gonna give you the best tips to make a really good taco. I'm gonna be teaching you how to make chicken tacos. I normally didn't grow up eating chicken tacos, but this is a, a taco that grow on me because of my kids, they love chicken tacos, and also our customers at Cantina Rooftop. In front of me, I have chicken breast. I'm just gonna do a butterfly cut. Basically, you split it in half, and it has the shape of a butterfly. So, the chicken breast before, it was thicker here and thinner here. Now, it's just evenly. You're gonna have a nice consistency through the entire breast. I'm gonna put it here, and I'm gonna move into marinade. I think it's really good to use dry ingredients. So with marinated meats, it kind of gets through the meat faster, and also the flavors are deeper, stronger. I'm gonna add a little bit of lime, a little bit of salt, garlic powder, onion powder, pepper. You gotta make sure you spread it all over the breast. A little bit more lime, a little bit of salt, use enough salt to cover the chicken, onion powder, same thing with the pepper. A little bit of oil, let it dance. And we're gonna let this sit for like 10, 15 minutes, no more than an hour. While this is marinated, we're gonna go and make the salsa. Today I'm making a creamy avocado salsa for my tacos. You have two types of salsa, spicy one and the mild. Today I'm just gonna be making the mild one because of the simplicity and how delicious it is. So I'm gonna use cut of an onion. Now what I love about this salsa is that you can make it in three minutes. Now, the serrano. It doesn't smell like anything. But if I do this, the flavors and the spiciness are waking up. Oh, so I'm just gonna do half. I'm gonna do lime. I always do this to my limes. It's a really good habit. So one lime per two avocados. If it needs more, I'll add more. The best way to choose an avocado is by the color. It needs to be dark brown with a little bit of greenish. Not too green, not too dark. Something in between. Now this here, the avocado stamp, you remove it. If it's nice and yellow, greenish, that means it's on point. If it's brown or too yellow, it's not good. When cutting an avocado, you need to be very gentle. I can already tell it's beautiful. By the color, and the moment of true, camera B, voila. Ah! Oh, you see this right here? This is somebody that was squeezing my avocados with their fingers. Stop doing that. You're doing this to my avocado. It's no bueno, man. Now, removing the seed, right? Use my thumbnail, push it, that's it. We're gonna scoop our avocado. Whole avocado, uno. I'm going to remove this dark bruise part that somebody did to my avocado. I just wanna see somebody in the market grabbing the avocado. I'm gonna give a, a lecture. For the cilantro, I'm using the entire stems and leaves because the stems are have a lot of flavor. I'm gonna do a little bit of water. Add some salt. And now I'm going to puree this until smooth. I'm gonna start slow. But look at the texture. This is what you want in your taco. A creamy, smooth sauce. It's amazing. My salsa is ready to go. Let's start cooking. The reason why I'm using cast iron pan because it holds the heat really nice. Also, I'm gonna heat up the tortillas here so I kinda want a wider pan so I can cook the tortillas here to get the flavor of the chicken into the tortillas. Anytime we're cooking chicken, pork, or fish, you want to sear, you wanna give color to whatever you're cooking. So, the level of heat right here needs to be really hot, but without burning. And I'm using canola because canola can hold heat really high. So, how do you know your oil is ready? You move it around. And if it travels faster, that means it's really hot. Very important. You're dealing with fire and wet. So shut it off and now add it. So now you turn it on back on. Just let it sit there. You're gonna put some pressure so it cooks evenly. Now all this flavor that comes out of the chicken, we're gonna use it to heat up our tortillas. When cooking chicken or any kind of meat, if you want a nice sear, you leave it alone. If you don't want a nice sear, keep playing. It's not playing in the kitchen. Not in my kitchen. Well, it depends. If my kids are around, we play. We have to make it fun. I can see the edges getting nice and gold. So now we're just gonna flip it. And look at that beauty. So simple. 
I will say this will probably take eight to ten minutes, four to five minutes on each side. But it all depends on how thick your chicken breast is. The thinner, the faster, the thicker, the longer. The reason why I'm removing the chicken from the heat is because I want all the moist to stay in the chicken. If I cut it right away, all the juices are gonna come out. So you're gonna let it rest this for like four minutes and then we'll cut it. And all these oils, it's love. We're not gonna throw them away. That's what we're gonna hit about tortillas. I'm going to remove these burn bits. I'm putting oil all over the cast iron pan. You're gonna go low heat. I'm gonna get some corn tortillas. I like to stack them together so they're kind of oily and steamy at the same time. Keep turning and look how we're removing the fat out of this. We have to make sure they're nice and greasy and steamy without being too oily. This is why I'm moving all these tortillas around. So we're just gonna keep turning this until they're all nice and wet. Now we're gonna keep them all together like that so they stay warm. You're gonna put it on a towel, let it sit there. Let's move into assembling the tacos. We just let our chicken rest for the past five minutes and it's ready. Now we're gonna do small dices. We're gonna make sure we keep it at the same size. So every bite of your taco is very important. And you have the same amount of chicken on every bite. So we have a nice sear, it looks moist. Now let's grab our tortillas, load it with a little bit of chicken, and we're gonna do the sauce. We have to make sure the sauce is all over the taco. I'm gonna do a little bit of cheese. So the reason why I'm using shredded lettuce is because I want to add freshness to this dish. Same thing with the tomatoes. They're nice and small, so every bite has the same amount of love. Now, I'm gonna do the crema, which is a Mexican sour cream. I'm gonna do a little bit. And this is how I cook for my kids. There's nothing wrong with these tacos. A lot of people, mom of you, wanna be like, oh, you're making American tacos. This is not American taco, this is a chicken taco. And everybody loves it. And now, I love it because my kids are crazy about this. We're going to finish it with a little bit of queso fresco. It's a cow's milk cheese and a salty, dry, crumbly cheese. Why did I use two cheeses? One is more for like flavor, and the other one is kind of like a, a seasoning and also garnish. Whatever you put on top, it's all up to you. And this is the best way to make tacos. My tacos are getting cold and they're ready to be tasted. Every bite has the same amount of love. The avocado sauce, the sour cream, the chicken is still moist, and everything is just perfect. So this taco, it's very simple to do it. Even though I make a chicken taco, but I want you to use the tips that I just give you about the tortilla, about the protein, about the salsa to make any taco that you want. Three things, tortilla, filling, and sauce. 